Hi everyone, I'm Missy Lissa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a paper mache volcano. To do the project, you will need flour, water, a scoop of some kind, this is a half cup, a bowl, tape, newspaper, a base or a tray for your volcano, and a water bottle or something similar to go in the middle of your volcano. Now I taped my, water, my bottle to the tray so it's, it stays in the middle. So the first thing you're going to do is that you're going to get your newspaper and you're going to wad it up into balls and then I'm going to put those balls around my bottle. And this will help us form the shape of the volcano. To hold it into place, you will use your tape. Once you are done with that step, you're ready to make your paper mache paste. So I'm going to get out my flour and my water. To make paper mache paste, you want your mixture to be two parts water and one part flour. So I'm going to do my water first. So since there's two parts, I'm going to do fill this up twice full of water. So it's going to be one cup of water in my mixture. And then you're going to stir that together. And you want to stir it until almost all the lumps are gone. All right, and now you're ready to do the paper mache. So you're going to take your newspaper and tear it into strips. And each strip, you're going to dip it in your paper mache mixture. And you can kind of swipe off the, ex the extra. And you're going to lay it down on your volcano. And you're going to do that until the whole thing is covered. After you are done covering your volcano with newspaper and paper mache paste, you can just let it dry and wait. And once it's dry, you can paint it. And then we'll come back and make the volcano erupt. Now that the volcano is painted and it's dry, we're ready to make it erupt. To do the eruption, you're going to need vinegar, a little bit of water, baking soda, dish soap, and food coloring if you want to color your lava a certain color. So first thing I'm going to add is some water. You don't need to fill up the bottle all the way, maybe about halfway. So the amount you'll need will depend on how big your bottle is. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of dish soap, just a squirt. This will make the eruption really foamy. Next, I'm going to add the baking soda. Finally, we're going to add the food coloring. Now the last step, the vinegar. Are you ready? You ready? It's going to erupt. Five, four, three, two, one.
And if you want to do it a second time, you can just add, keep adding vinegar, and it'll keep going. And that's it, friends. That's how you make a paper mache volcano and make it erupt. I hope you had fun doing this project with me, and I hope you have fun doing it at home. Bye!